Right. Of course. Sorry about that. Don't need to bother you. You should have realized. Come and look here, Charles. Look. And I'm telling you now in plain English, no gaffers and knock in here. No it. Knock yourself out. Right. And I don't care what people say. <laughs> Extraordinary. English language will never be the same. Where are you going? Back to my fellow lepers. Ah. Are you coming? No, I stay here, keep the peace. Fuck her. I'd rather not, thank you. My turn to get kicked out. Wow, you should be so lucky. No, they just paid for that a white man should bother to come in here in the first place. What you can have? Oh, this is on me. I owe you one. Hey, two cold ones, bro. Why are there no namas in here? Oh, well, nothing stopping them, but apartheid is a contagious disease. Monkey see, monkey do. You see us colored people, we far too in with the whites to mix with namas. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Listen. You guys better be careful about over-romanticizing a dip. Don't forget one thing, it kills namas, not whites. Some people around here, I guess they like that. What do you mean? Do you really think Nadip could get this far without protection from the whites? How do you think he manages to disappear every time they're hunting for him, without a trace? Where does he get his guns from, his bullets? Well, he steals them, obviously. And what about the girlfriend on the farm, hmm? And do you know that Nadip sends his grandfather money at the end of every month? What about that? What are you saying? I'm saying that maybe somebody is paying Nadip a salary. What? To kill Namas? Listen, Bushman hunting used to be a sport around here not so long ago. The only difference is now they've hired a black man to do it for them. Oh, who's going to pay him? Uh, you guys, man, you're walking around here in a daydream. Look, all I'm going to say is that there are some people, white people, who are buying up these farms very cheap now thanks to Nadip. That makes Nadeep into a mercenary. With both hands in the cookie jar. But please, don't let these little details spoil your movie, huh? Yeah, I used to believe in Nadeep's power and his magic. <coughs> Once. Excuse me. Cheer up. Nobody really knows anything about Nadeep, not even his own family. Everybody seems to be making up willy nilly as they go along. Including you? <laughs> Including me. Well, maybe it is true. Maybe Nadeep is just a mercenary. Why not? God knows it won't be the first time this sick society has created a monster like that. Come on. Show me a country that hasn't had its own share of violence, and believe me, I've seen most of them. All this because some bastard wants to buy farms cheaply. Penny. Oh, forget it. 
Of course, Charles. Who else is buying up farms around here? And why was he so keen to get us away from his farm? Because he allows Nadib to hide that. That's why. And that explains the woman. We put two and two together. Oh, hang on. You don't even know for sure that she's Nadib's girl. Well, maybe Nadib's been blackmailed. The baby. Henning's using the baby to get Nadib to do those things. Anton, the baby's only about six months old. Nadib's been killing for nearly two years. Well, everyone else is making up that version of him. Can I help? Hello. We're the film crew. I called you a few days ago. Ah, oh, yes. Hello. Come to film our little ceremony. Well, <laughs> yes. And to see if you've changed your mind about giving an interview on Nadeep. We've read some of his writings and we find it very hard to believe that he was at school for such a short time. Yes, well, we must remember that he was 12 when he started. But he was a bright boy, definitely. What was he like? Very quiet. Though we had a terrible temper. He used to bite the other boys sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but can I offer you a drink? Oh, that'd be lovely. Oh, yeah. Sit, please. Sit. Thank you. I'm sure our gallant warriors won't miss a few. Why does he attack only his own people? You know much about the Nama people, Mr. Uh... Van Heerden, Anton. No, not much. The Namas are a proud people. I suspect Nadeep finds it very hard to accept what's happened to his people over the years. Their humiliation, subservience. So he hits out at his own people. I suppose it's like hitting somebody you love when it's yourself you feel angry with. I was told he was being paid to kill Namas. <laughs> you hear so many stories these days, Mr. Van Eerden, that you hardly know which one to believe. And what about about the woman and baby on Henning's farm. <laughs> 